What's going on guys? Sticky13 here back again with another Attack on Titan. We are on episode 10 of season 2. And hey, if this is the same amount of, of episodes as the last season, then that means we're, you know, episode 12 will probably be uh, like halfway. So we might even get a new opening at that point. I'm still waiting for T-Rexes. Where are these T-Rexes and whales and stuff that we were promised in the opening? I want to know. I want to see. I want to see T-Rexes. Okay. I just, is that like a spoiler for down the line or is it just i just don't get it why were there t-rexes and whales and lizard tortoises and stuff in the opening of this season i don't or this first half of the season i'm assuming there's gonna be a next one like uh in the next episode or two or something but like what is going on with that why are there animals and i mean i don't know i don't know and there's the beast titan who did is he, is he just like a monkey that got titan powers <sighs> so much to ponder in this series so much to ponder and we still haven't gotten to the basement aaron aaron you could have give you could have thrown mikasa the key or something i mean he didn't know he was gonna get taken but man like we, what's in the basement what's in the basement like, obviously, you know, well, by the time you guys see this, I was gonna say, obviously, don't tell me. I'm just thinking out loud, but, you know, by the time you guys see this, I'm probably already gonna know, you know. So I'm gonna be a good, a good bit ahead, but. Ugh, just to avoid spoilers, because I hate spoilers. I'm not trying to get spoiled. You know, I got, like I said, I got a bunch of spoilers for this early on. Thankfully, I do not remember most of that. Thankfully, like most of those spoilers that I knew, I don't remember anymore. And it's because I never went back to like think about it again or to look back at that video where I mentioned the ones I did know. Like, thankfully, I just it's uh, I'm so glad I that's kind of fallen out of my memory. Uh, but yeah, we got we'll, we'll, hey, we'll see. Let's see what goes on. Let's see what goes on. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to keep this going any longer on this opening here because I just want to know. I just want to get further. I want to get further and I want to know these mysteries. I want to see them be unraveled. I'm not talking about Tokyo Ghoul. Hey, unravel. Hey, stop. Nah. <laughs> but hey, okay, let's go ahead and get into this. This is episode 10. Yeah, 10. I can count. Nah. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and get into this though. Okay, we are uh, going to start this in 3, 2, one go ah, so much mystery here man for real yep just doesn't make sense We've seen this before. I feel like we've seen this before. Look, like we're getting more of this scene or something. This is the town. Yeah, Connie's town. Dude, that was his mother. What the hell? Ain't no way. Dude, ain't no way. Why? How did she get turned into a titan? You know, asking that and then thinking back on season one, there was that moment first couple of episodes where Aaron had that thing the, the dream or whatever where his father was injecting him with something is there a titan serum to turn people into titans and if so why would it be used on like someone random like Connie's parents and what what would what would be the goal there turn I mean I guess uh, yeah okay yes as far as like a weapon of war or something if you consider like a titan a weapon of war 
then injecting someone to turn them into a weapon, that's that's one thing. Like, if you're going to use them to, like, defend your borders or something like that. But it doesn't make sense that they're injecting these, ra- like, a random person like Connie's mother. If that, if that, it, like, I might be completely off base with this, but it just, that's the only thing that I could think of as to why random people like her would be turning into a titan is that they're they're forced into becoming one or something's being done to them to make them a titan i don't but what would the end goal be like of just children of just turning random people into titans i don't get it Is it like you have to have be special to gain your humanity and be able to think in Titan form? And then the, the offshoots are just the ones that roam around. The failed experiments are the ones that roam around outside the walls that don't think really. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm maybe I'm reaching. You know. So, like, what are those other reasons? Why is she sought after? The coordinate. What? They're making it sound like she's a locator. Like she can locate something that they're looking for. The coordinate. And that. Uh, okay, Virgil's got a thing for Annie. She's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, are we actually moving now? Also, Emir recovered faster than Aaron. That's it. That's. Huh. Interesting situation there. Also, his eye markings have gotten less and less. What is going on? Aaron, just follow him. Just let them take you up to the gate. Oh! Aaron! Yo! This man said no hands, I'm gonna go in. Oh my goodness. When you turn back into a human? Well, she ate someone right before turning back into human? I mean, obviously. God, he's biting the nub. Oh. They don't remember until they gain that consciousness for the first time, it seems like. And then they're able to control it after they get to that point.
What? She's like 60 something years old. What? Guys, what is going on in this world? All these questions. How are you that old? Maybe I read that. I'll go, I'll go back and just check that again, but... Wow. Wow. Yeah, they, they have no choice but to move now. Yeah, Erwin, I, I fully believe that man is capable of just about anything. Story is there. Dude, but would she even want to come with you? Like, I... But why would she want to come with you? Like, she's gonna hate you guys for what you're doing. Is going on? How? I have so many questions. She's not gonna willingly go with you. I don't feel like. Dude, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm having these moments of silence. I'm just getting so immersed in this. Lie to yourself again. We getting backstory? We getting backstory? Let's go. Is that that's Amir? This is that other country, right? This is that other land, right? So you you had you, you were telling yourself you had to go along with it. Dude, immortality like what is going on? She was like a savior to these people. How? What does this immortality stem from? Like, how? 
soldiers? You put her into this position, then you're gonna... And then you're gonna, like, pin it on her? Like, seriously? The blood of the king. What does that mean? About getting stoned in the streets. Dude! What? She turned to a titan! Right? What the hell is going on? Dude, how long was she a tight? Dude, she was just laying there, got covered up by the ground. Is this what they were talking about? Like the 60 years or something? She just spent lying there. That was the that was the scene we saw. That was the scene. Dude, this music. Dude. Dude, what is... That's why, man. I said she seemed, she, I, I didn't like the fact that she was so straightforward, but I did kind of like it. And that's why. That's why. She's always so straightforward. Better off not being born. What do you mean? Like, what is about Historia? There's something about her they're not, they're not telling us. Dude, that's why Amira was always so straightforward with people and why her personality was like that. Because she was like, I'm not going to lie anymore. This is the scene that first, the first few episodes. Dude, this is beautiful. Like, tears. Getting tears. She's gonna leave. She's gonna jump off. She's gonna jump off and go back for her, isn't she? Is she? Bro, she's gonna go back.
I was right. She's small, so she can get through pretty easily. Yeah, she's giving him an ultimatum. Oh my god, what is going on? Bruh. Bro, I kind of love her and his story together, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hope they end up together. If, if there's any romance in this whatsoever, I don't even know, because everything is always messed up in the end. Dude, she transformed! She already transformed! Yo! Bye! No, Mikasa! Mikasa! Or not! Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, buddy. You didn't have a chance. Like, this is the Vanguard, so Mikasa wouldn't be in with them, right? Or, no, then maybe they are there. I, I'm not even sure now. Yeah, Mikasa is there. Okay. I thought that was the Vanguard coming in. Dude. This is giving me, like, late episode, or season one vibes. Dude, he veered. Let's go. I don't know who to root for. Okay. Dude, I would still be like sweating bullets just standing next to that. Like, oh my god. Calm down, Connie! Oh my god! Calm down, Connie! Oh my god. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me, man. I think she's gonna just turn around and snatch you. Oh, she's just searching for Historia. Bro, is she just trying to take her? Like, where are you gonna take her? Where are you gonna take her? What's the plan? What's the plan here? Yeah, this is insane. But she's not hostile to you now though. She didn't attack you guys. No, she didn't attack you guys. If she was hostile, she would have just gone after all of you. Oh my god. How does this show fire up so much, so quickly, in like an episode or two? There's always something insane going on in like every other episode. Maybe they did plan it. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess they went along with it and said, okay, you can take Krista or Historia and just take her and go. There's no way that this squad is going to make it there with them. Dude, Hannes, don't don't say that. Don't say that, dude. We got enough death flies going on without people straight up saying I'm going to die for this. Like, come on, man. No. I like you, Hannes. I don't want to lose you, man. 
you're you're kind of like a big brother or a father figure to Mikasa, Armin, and Aaron. I feel like we can't we can't lose Hannes, man. I just don't like it, man. When 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 you have a show like this where anything can happen and anyone can go out at any time, basically. Like, that's a no. If you don't need to have characters straight up saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm about to give up my life for something, for this mission. No, no, we don't need that. Man, this show, it just... Like I said, almost every other episode, it feels like something is, go is popping off. Something is going down. And this is wild. It's just wild. It's... <laughs> You never know where this show is going, and you can never guess what's going to be happening next. Did um, my opinion of Amir changed so much with that flashback. And I, I believe I mentioned, like, I, I felt that it would change, you know, because if you don't have context to someone and their personality and why they do things then you're not going to be able to fully be able to judge them early on, you know? And even though I disliked her personality early on, because I said, like, oh, she's forcing things on Krista slash Historia, um, I just felt like she was pushing her own ideals on to Historia. And I was like, man, I just, I just don't like that. Like, don't, like, I mean, it's one thing to grow up with a horrible past and see the world through jaded eyes. It, that's one thing. But with with uh, Emir early on, it just seemed like she was she was pushing her viewpoint of the world on to Krista, and it's like just that's not that's not how you do it. Like you can't you have to let her be herself, you know. And it just felt like she was trying to mold her into something that she wasn't supposed to be, you know, like. She's not the type to be a jaded person about things, and she's the type to lend a helping hand and to to see, you know, if she sees someone else suffering, she's going to be there to help them, and, you know, she's just that kind of person. And it's like, man, I was like, Amir is just trying to push her own viewpoint of the world onto her, and I just didn't like it. It rubbed me the wrong way, like, straight up. It just rubbed me the wrong way, and, but, you know, I just, every, every time we get some context to Amir... I start to like her a little bit more, you know, and even, even though I still don't agree with the way she was pushing that stuff on Krista, you know, to a certain extent, you have to, you have to understand it, you know, from her, her viewpoint that, you know, the way that life treated her and everything, and it really does make sense when she made that, that self, kind of like a self-rule, you know, to, um, to just be straight up with everything and to be uh, like 100% honest with how she goes about doing this stuff and how she goes about like approaching people and how she goes about uh, saying the things she says. Like she's straight up like and she's always been that and you know, I, initially I didn't like that about her but now it makes so much more sense that she kind of had that moment of self-realization that she did not want to keep lying to herself she didn't want to lie to the people around her. Like, she's, you know, <laughs> she's been brutally honest, you know? And that's, uh, that's kind of cool in a way because that shows her, I mean, granted, it's not a, it's not an amazing, or let me rephrase that. It's not a, it's like a character progression that might not be the best trait to have being so brutally honest but it's really cool to see her have that that kind of shift as a character from where she was initially to where she is now and it's like it's it's something you don't I, it's, it's just it kind of blows my mind because I'm like man I, I really hated her I really hated her initially I really did I did not I did not care for Amir but um yeah kind of I mean we're getting bits and pieces of things finally explained but at the same time there's still so much shrouded and just 
mystery. We just don't. We just there. There are still a lot of key points. I feel like that have yet to be revealed that will really put this whole thing into perspective and what we've seen so far into perspective. And I can't. I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. I it's just. It's so exciting. Attack on Titan, man. And I'm, I'm so excited to be caught up. Like, when, whenever I get to that point, I'm so excited to be caught up. And hopefully I can get there before the newest part of the season airs. Or the newest season. I don't know how they're doing it, honestly. But I hope I can get there by the before it comes out so I can, like, be watching it week to week. Uh, that'll be so cool. This is awesome, guys. This is so awesome. It's, I... I all I gotta say is I, I love the shows that I picked. The three shows. I'm sorry, like, Attack on Titan, Hunter x Hunter, and Ranking of Kings have all just been incredible. I wish I could have watched all of Made in Abyss with Season 2 with you guys, but, you know, I, I was initially watching it with my buddy, and uh, he just got too busy and stuff, and it was a long drive for him to come by and, you know, sit down to watch stuff, so I only got to record the finale, essentially, without him, you know, or because I, I was like I'm just gonna watch the finale anyway by myself, so I might as well record my reaction to it, you know. And I did, and I'm, you guys will have probably seen that already by this point. But yeah, um, Made in Abyss. I, I wish season two I had recorded, but you know I, I watched the first eleven episodes with my with my buddy. So yeah, I just yeah I didn't. You know when when you're watching it with someone, you don't want to be like, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead without you. You know, it's, that's not as fun, so, yeah, um, but regardless, all these have just been amazing shows, just amazing, like Ranking of Kings, Hunter x Hunter, and Attack on Titan, they, these are great picks for me, honestly, like, even if they don't get a lot of views, I'm not sure which ones will get a lot of views and which ones people don't want to see, but I will have some polls and stuff like that, so once I finish Ranking of Kings, essentially... You know, you guys will have some input on what I what I go to next from there, but I just kind of wanted to do my own thing so I could, like, with my first three shows, I just wanted to pick them myself and um, just kind of run through them so I could have a big backlog of content for you guys. So, you know, so you'd always have something every week. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, we will uh, we'll see where it goes from here, but Attack on Titan's getting real spicy. Real spicy, like some spicy ramen. Mm, man, making me hungry. Dang, like, I didn't, man, that would have been a perfect comment. Like, I got a, a different Naruto shirt with him eating ramen, Ichiraku, and I didn't have that on. That would have been perfect for that comment there where I was talking about spicy ramen. Dang. Oh, well. Hey, it is what it is. I will see you guys in the next episode of Attack on Titan, episode 11. When we get there, who knows what's going to happen because this show is just unpredictable. This is unpredictability, the show. Okay. Straight up. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, though. I really appreciate it. Every every one of you guys, I appreciate it so much. Like, thank you. Thank you. Because of you guys, this makes it makes it fun. Like, if I know people are actually enjoying the content, it makes it fun. So, thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.